Hello everyone, it's Fischler here. Just a quick video on how to send your AGIX tokens or any ERC20 tokens from Binance to your MetaMask wallet. Now, why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? First of all, it's always better to actually own your crypto. Because if you have it on an exchange, it's not in your hands. It's in the hands of the owners of the exchange, right? So if anything happens with the exchange, for example, it goes bankrupt, you could you lose your crypto. And this is highly unlikely, obviously, in the case of these big exchanges, but we've seen before, it can happen. So that's the first reason, to actually own your crypto. Second reason is when you want to stake your AGIX tokens, you're going to need to have it in a private wallet like MetaMask or Trust Wallet. Now, you probably don't want to stake them yet because right now the staking reward is around 1% per year, which is not good. But later, when it's going to be on Cardano, it's going to be significantly better, probably around 4-5% API. The third reason is that every AGIX holder that meets a certain criteria, like having your tokens at a given date or having at least X amount of tokens, receives airdrops of every future project of singular TNATs, every spin-off project. Now the first project like that, similar to DAO, it's already launched and airdrops uh, happened already, two of the four phases. But obviously if you don't have at least like a thousand AGIX, then it's not going to worth to send it because that was the criteria for the singular TITAO and drops. Now, if you want to send your tokens, go to Fiat and Spot on Binance. Choose Withdraw next to your tokens. You're going to add a new address. We're going to get this address in a minute. And you can see the network fee is going to be pretty high. So you might want to wait until AGI is on Cardano because it's not too far away and it's probably going to be way, way cheaper than this. Ethereum gas fees are just too high. But in case you want to send them or send any other tokens, this is how you do it. You open your MetaMask. You can see this account here. There's an address. You click on it once and it's already copied. You go back here. You paste it. That's your MetaMask ERC20 address. Every ERC20, so Ethereum-based, tokens can be sent here and you you're gonna receive them in your metamask wallet you could choose the network but right now agix can only be sent through the ethereum network so as an erc20 token later on you're probably gonna have the option to choose the cardano network which is something we're all waiting for so if you'd want to send it, just enter the amount and pay that hefty fee and click on withdraw. Uh, you're going to probably receive an email or something. You're going to have to click on a link, do something like that. And after that, it's going to be a few minutes and you receive your tokens. But if you can see it because you haven't had any AGI tokens in your wallet yet, it is there. It just doesn't, doesn't show because you need to add the token address here, add the token. In order to do that, the easiest way, just open coinmarketcap.com, find 
the token you're trying to add. And under contracts, just copy this address. I'm going to find something else because I already have this added. I could remove it from MetaMask and add it again. It would not affect my tokens. So let's uh, add something else. Let's add a chain link. Copy the contract. You can even see this small fox here. MetaMask, go down, add token, click on this one, which is, I don't know what it's going to be in English. Paste the address here. You can see the symbol. Next, click on this, adding, and it is added. Now, I don't have any chain link in my wallet, but if I would have sent some, Nai would see it. It's right here. So that's it. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I might make a video about it.